Welcome everyone to another edition of Harry Sky Read Elite. My video blog. Now please don't upload, download, use my video for any nefarious purpose, by shape, or form. We're trying to sell because if you try to do anything for any reason other than me having the full copyright without my permission, I will sue you. No, I want to apologize to everyone. I have this video wrapped up, and uh, let's just say the young, beautiful Chloe um, got angry, and she apologized. She's like, hurry up so we can watch the movie. Now, it's almost midnight, so I gotta be up at like 7.30 so I can actually get washed up to go to um, the library at 9 because we probably want to get the movie done and get to sleep. So, anyways, today's video was interesting because, like I said, you had yesterday's video uploaded uh, today and this morning. But, um, anyways, I had a video made and this was a rant video and it wasn't about Chloe. You know, Chloe was, uh, was happy about it. But she got in, intervened, uh, I, and she apologized wholeheartedly. She said the other videos she didn't want to upload it because she made a mistake, and I will get to that. But anyways, my rant was basically about people online and so forth. Now, everyone knows that, you know, uh, people sit there, you know, like my neighbors, and they turn around and, you know, others, and they're like, well, you got to look after yourself. Now, you know, today I was talking to Chloe at the library, and I'll get to that. After we left, we went to go to the library, but while I got my video done, I took a break, went outside to have some dip. When I was outside, Chloe runs out and says, Rita, Rita, that garbage here, and I go, great. He wants to do dinner tomorrow. Well, Chloe's got a plan, I got a plan. We have other things we got to do, and so technically, you know, we are, um, got some errands to do tomorrow. So I gotta run over and do some business and then I gotta go and do some more business and then I gotta go to Walmart and do some more business. And then I gotta go to GameStop and do some more business and then by the time I get home it should be now whatever I get I get. I'm hoping I get plenty for what I'm doing on uh, my project. But anyway, so Chloe found out I was gonna have dinner uh lunch and dinner with my sister and she's like, Well I'm gonna take your wheelchair and take the boxes in and get money so I can get something to eat. Well, that's a good idea, but my sister, the one that's supposed to take me out, she's all talk, okay? And she's a flake. So I'm not counting my chickens, but I gotta go there at 9 to check email for the game company. Well, I mean, anyway, Chloe's sitting there, and she's like, well, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? And I go, uh, I don't know. So at 9 o'clock, I got something to do. At 10 o'clock, I got something to do. And then afterwards, we're heading home, you know, to rest. Well... You know, I might get money tomorrow on something, I might not. That depends. But anyways, Chloe turns around and, uh, you know, was getting angry at the library. And, you know, she has a right to, you know, she thinks, oh, well, you're going to eat something yummy and stuff. Well, my neighbor, before I, before, after Chloe left, you know, to go back in the air conditioner cell, neighbor's like, Rita, let's go and get something to eat. You know, I'll buy you a load of food over at Tacna. Well, I didn't take it because Chloe would get mad, and you don't want to piss off Chloe, like, tonight, by mistake. Well, the reason Chloe got mad out of stupidity, and she apologized wholeheartedly, and I'll get to that in a minute, was, we were talking about food, you know, and one of the things I'm upset about is I hear all these people sit there and they're like, Rita, you're going to be lo unloading a truck with a friend of yours. Chloe's going to do all the cleaning, basically. One room at a time, you're going to get everything moved. You know, one thing is the couch first, and then some boxes, and then Chloe's going to do that part, and then you're going to go into this room here, and move all the boxes, and then the desks, and the furniture, you know, and you're going to get those done. Well, anyways, while talking to Chloe's fight about, you know, these things, you know, she thought, oh, well, you know, I'm being selfish, you know, she's not going to help. Yeah, she's helping. Uh, that wasn't the problem that we were talking about. The problem we were talking about with Chloe's fight was, you know, the food thing, you know, whereas everyone says, you know, I should buy my own food, and Chloe should buy her own, and she's got cash money, and if she doesn't do it, you know, her mom thinks, oh, that's abuse, no, it isn't, you know, she's got her own money, she can buy it, then you have Chloe just turn around, and we'll take, uh, some dollar value menu, well, I'll buy her the dollar value menu, I'm still going hungry, because we can't afford to eat out, I mean, we're paying for the guy that helps us move, he wants cash, we don't have money to store the throw around, you know. I mean, you know, um, you know, so my neighbor's like, let's just go get some eat fuck clothes. Well, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to sit there and come back and Chloe's like, I ain't right now, you ain't here, you ain't out, where are you going? Finding out my breath tastes like burgers. It smells like 
chicken sandwiches or french fries or soda french fries, chicken sandwich. No. Or burgers, you know, or all three or all four. I mean, you know, I mean, it was like, you know, and she wanted to replay me for, you know, all the kindness I have. It's like, I'm not taking your charity because, you know, I don't think it's right. I mean, look, Chloe well, yeah, does have a good idea. I'm eating out. Maybe she should go get something to eat herself, you know, on the boxes. But, you know, like, uh, like I said in my previous video, you know, before I got ruined is, I asked specifically multiple times, and every time I said, well, I want to get some, some, uh, some float. Well, you know, it's a bad idea to go take these box, and because box does just get a float. Now, I'm going and getting TV dinner, that's a different story, but the point is, is Chloe had an idea, and you know, my neighbors like that, and my other family members are like, well, you gotta sell, you know, uh, this, or you gotta do that, and then you got neighbors saying, oh, well, you know, Chloe's got uh, uh, a partner, and then she's a, you're a caretaker, or she's a child, you know, and it irritated me. I was doing a mint about that, and, you know, they're like, you're never going to get anywhere in your life. You're going to be catering to her, you know, and, you know, it's like, like, for example, you know, talking to the doctor about um, Chloe and getting, you know, things lined up. We have surgery all lined up, everything else. I just need some help with that something. And she turned and told me outright, Rita, I think Chloe is, uh, you know, the, the whole full security thing, it's dead in the water. She looked on the records and found out it's dead in the water. How do you justify going there, she said, if you're going to be going there with the records, and he, I mean, you got to submit them. i got to send priority envelope, and then you lose all the records anyway, and you don't get them back, you know. And so, you know, She looked up the emergency room. She said it's dead progress, you know. And so Chloe's panicked about, you know, we got one TV dinner each. I mean, like, the neighbor and I were talking jokingly. I said, yeah, what's that? Get some more peanut butter on a bagel and there's no more peanut butter. Oh, well, no worries. Oh, who cares? You know, I can eat the bagel by itself. Of course, the neighbor just was, like, throwing shit pit. Well, when you get your money and you go and get the truck and you do everything, buy yourself a big meal and let Chloe go hungry. If Chloe doesn't want to go hungry, let Chloe buy herself something. Well, that's not me. I have a heart of gold. Everyone knows. My cousin and cousin-in-law, you know, they know this. If we went out to eat, they would make sure I had a couple burgers. Like one day my cousin loaded me up. I think it was quadruple, two quadruple cheeseburgers with jalapenos on them. I'm telling you, my breath was firing flames afterwards. It was more hotter than a freaking flamethrower burger. But anyways, let me get down to brass tacks. So, you know, I had an idea. Burger King or Arby's? Now, for their, uh, Jack, uh, not Jack and Box, uh, A&W, my neighbor's like, when you take a break from loading the truck, the, heart, the heel from your heart problem, wheel yourself over with me in the wheelchair, or, you know, I'll push you or something. We can get some floats for us. You know what floats. That's not how I work. But I already told Chloe, go get your value meal, go get what you wish, I'll go hungry. I'll eat a granola bar. Because frankly, I don't have time, you know, to argue. And where are we going to get this excess money? I mean, literally. I mean, uh, the neighbor was bitching the other day about, um, you know, the beautiful Chloe complaining about, um, about, um, the other morning when we were heading out to go to the doctor's office about buying what you were wasting money on couches and I heard the argument I mean wow big deal you know Chloe has an idea I mean she I mean look at it this way in my video I was talking the other video about justification or validity now Oh, he always likes that word validity. Now, the validity is her cows are getting thin. They're 15 years old. Yeah, she's got a good heart. Let her buy cows if she wants. But no, neighbor had to bring up the fact that we need the money for gas. Well, if you let her buy cigarettes, and you let her buy dip, or cigarette tobacco, and tooth, and dip, and you let her buy a uh, towel, and you let her buy a blanket, there's no money left over for gas. You're going to have to eat, go hungry for the month to move the truck. Moving does cost money. And if she spends her money foolishly, then she needs someone to control her money. She, you know, and, you know, other people are saying that. Well, 
It's like she and Chloe doesn't like this word, but I'm gonna throw it in there anyway because the neighbor threw it in there and I don't like it. Talk about common sense. Well, she has no common sense because if she did, she'd think clearly. Like, look at the guy today. He knocks on the door. Chloe runs to you. Oh, he could have said, we're busy. We're doing something. Well, my sister, I told the guy already. I had plans this weekend. My sister's coming to bed. Of course, Chloe doesn't remember. He doesn't remember what to take him to dinner tomorrow. Now, I don't trust the guy because I don't know if he's going to sift them on the bill and we're in trouble. But anyway, she's like, oh, well, what do we do? What do we do? So, I, I love Chloe, you know, and so, you know, I get irritated, you know, and then I hear people say, well, you need to look after yourself. I got family members. Look after yourself first. And don't get crapped on. I mean, literally, I mean, I mean, when we, I mean, it upsets me because, you know, I mean, I don't mind having something to eat. I mean, I'm going to be expelling a lot of energy. And then I hear, the granola bar ain't going to do you any good. You're going to sweat your ass off. You're going to need to change your clothes. You're going to need to do this. Yeah, it's going to be a hot day. But what do we do? Do we sit there and say, oh, yes, okay, well, do an answer. That's great. Or does we sit there and just leave it alone? I mean, literally. I mean, one of the things that Chloe got angry about, okay, and, you know, and this isn't about, you know, I mean, I went to the library today, and I wanted out, so I went home. But, you know, she stayed behind, and I didn't want to deal with this guy, because I didn't want to show him up, you know, and so, but, you know, the bottom line is, you got this guy, you know, and he, it upsets me. You got others bothering me, and then you got, you know, the neighbors like, oh, well, you know, fuck Chloe, let Chloe go hungry. She's going to be wasting money on towels. She can use that money to buy her meal. Or something else, you know. And it's, it's, so one of the things I told Chloe is let's just have some fucking peace for a week. Once she, once we're gone, we don't have to deal with it. My aunt doesn't talk to me much, so oh well. My sister, my sister and cousin, and my cousin and cousin-in-law, aka my sister, they're busy doing things, but they're, they're not paying attention to my channel. So who cares, you know? And if they do watch it, which they, you know they do. What are they going to do? Message me and go, oh, we're going to work so good ago, you know? I mean, no, Chloe got angry because of something stupid, okay? Now, a lot of people sit there and say, see, she's schizophrenic. She's schizophrenic. You need to have her medicated. I mean, look at the doctor, okay? The doctor looked at me, and we were talking, and, you know, the doctor, you know, I released the info, but she just quickly looked it up because she was putting together Chloe's charts, the final appointment, and she says, these emergency room visits I was looking at before he came in and when he came in is uh, off the charts, you know. And I said, what do you mean, Doc? She said, well, going to the emergency room, asking for a better diagnosis, that's dead in the water. I mean, wanting to get involuntary committed, not voluntary, but involuntary dead in the water. Everything that says in this report, Social Security is going to throw out. So when we talked about other issues, She's like, Chloe medicated? Nope, that's why she ain't getting Social Security. We didn't know that. Well, the lawyer basically left us a letter about that anyway, but Chloe doesn't want to be on meds? Fine. When have people say, well, if Chloe needs meds. If it ain't working, increase the dosage. If it doesn't work, increase the dosage. Increase the dosage. And then she's like, I mean, my neighbor turned around and said, well, if she just took her meds, she'd live life a little better and not angrier. And then she turns around, she might use her mind a little better and say, go ahead and buy yourself a meal, I'll buy my own. Said, you know, and then the neighbor is basically bringing it up. I mean, if the neighbor would fucking leave, her, leave us the fuck alone, we wouldn't have this fucking problem, right? I mean, this is just the whole pet peeve about the neighbor going, wow, you need to eat, you can't go without. And if you go and get wings for yourself at pizza, fuck her. If she doesn't buy her own wings, she can kiss your ass. Well, the problem with getting wings is I don't have the menu in front of me, but wings are like 30 bucks, okay? I don't have 30 bucks to point down just for a wing meal, you know? And if I did, I'd be eating the wings for myself and not sharing, you know? And so it's not right. The neighbor's like, well, that's right, you're catering to her. To you, you're, to her, you're her slave. And she says something you give in, otherwise you're afraid of her. You're, you need to put your foot down. 
So, you know, and then I have other people say, oh, she's financially abusing you. She's, uh, uh, extorting money from you. Right. Okay. So, you know, so I got all this problem worked out, and then on top of it, you know, I'm basically sitting here getting irritated because of it. And then, you know, like I was saying, you know, we were talking about this whole lunch thing, you know, in this video, and Chloe didn't understand the whole thing, and one of the things I said was the neighbor wanted to take me out to eat. A jack in the box. Well, I don't want to eat and have my breath smelling like burgers or chicken sandwiches or fries or all three and a soda because Chloe will get mad. And she's like, my oh, you're just, you know, the thing is, I don't want to piss her off, okay? The neighbor got mad for me not taking her off. Well, you're going hungry the rest of the month because of it. You should take my offer. No. There's ways around it. Well, you shouldn't be giving up your boxes because of it. There's something you can do. Well, I mean, I mean, if I can score about eight more TV dinners, I can have two TV dinners a night for freaking, well, you know, you know, Wednesday. I mean, that, that's the goal. I have a couple ideas. I need to go and talk to someone about it. And so I need to know specifically on a plan I'm going to talk about. I can sit on the plan for a day or two or three, but the main thing is, is you know, I just have an idea and I need to run with it. And so I'm going to talk to my family about it too. But my family, is, my fa my problem is my family. Um, you know, have their own ideas, you know, and I'm getting tired of them being like, you're, you got a child, you're not, you're not a relationship, you're, you're, you're their caretaker, it's a burden to you, you're going to go driving, you're going to be put in the ground because, you know, you have to cater to this angry, you know, and they, they use derogatory terms, you know, and, you know, Chloe was basically getting mad, you know, you know, in the last video, she got mad and called me some names that I'm not going to repeat. You know, and then she kept going on and on and on about certain things, and, you know, then when I left to take Moppy for a walk, she realized, you know, one of the things we were talking about is, you know, the whole Jack in the Box thing, you know, the neighbor knows, we just closed that something about Sarah like four months ago, five months ago, when she went to Jack in the Box and got like five to ten items for herself and got me a chicken sandwich. Well, the neighbor's like, what a fucking selfish, you know, and the neighbor called her a selfish bastard. Well, me, Chloe's a bitch, alright? Chloe didn't know better. I mean, Chloe's hungry, okay? Who cares? I mean, I remember the crew was saying, here's a chicken sandwich, and I just went on my way with the soda. I was going thirsty at the time. I think it was last summer or something. Anyway, it was a long while ago, but she's always like, well, you go and you buy this for her, that for her, and she's not, well, and she's not grateful for it, and she's not this. Well, Chloe was an experiment for the bacon flip and jack in the box, but... You know, with, us, with cheese, but you get the, the sourdough. You get the idea, right? So, you know, so Chloe was getting angry, you know, about this and that. And then the neighbor's like, get the fucking burgers you want. Get her a, a sandwich, one. And if you have to get her, get her two sandwiches and a drink. But don't get her anything more because, you know, it's not worth it. You know, well, with me, if I'm paying $7 a sandwich... For myself, it's not fair for her, and so technically I was trying to say in my video that I'm trying to forfeit us eating out at all because, you know, I gotta make sure, you know, we have everything. Well, the neighbor's like, well, you're not gonna see any of Chloe's money because Chloe promised the gas and you, you're gonna have to do it. Well, if I'm gonna be fucking doing like the neighbor thing, then I better basically not buy anything for myself to eat or drink this on uh, the Wednesday. I'll get a granola bar and drink some water. I mean, the neighbor needs to fucking mind her own business, okay? And Chloe already said, get what I want. So, technically, if I do it, I do it. If I don't do it, I don't do it. The thing is, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm Chloe knows. I can't just fucking pull out money out of my ass. And, you know, she knows it. She apologized thoroughly. I mean, it's like the other day, she she got mad at something stupid. I mean, we were talking about the other day. She took me to lunch. That's what triggered it. And we were there, you know, and she had cash money, and she had not enough money to cover. So if you give the guy the cash money, I'll pay for the rest. Well, she's like, okay, well, when we got the receipt and he rang us up, I looked at it and I said, wow, 279 for soda. She's like, wow, that's expensive. He's like, yeah, anyways, you get refills. Well, I went and got refills anyway. 
You know, and, that, and it was like, I think we got the large sodas. I don't remember. But anyway, I just turned around and you know, she looked at my receipt. The receipt, it was mine. She said, here's the receipt for you. You know, but she paid fast. But anyway, once you got the receipt, it was like $4.99 for my sandwich. And I had like cheese, mayonnaise, meat, and like onions. And jalapenos and uh, cherry peppers or banana peppers. Boy, well, she loaded it up, right? And the guy's like, oh, it's three dollars extra for your foot long sandwich for a freaking ham. You know, and he goes and explains everything. And, you know, it was something like she asked for a certain sandwich. It was like nine bucks plus, you know, the this other stuff. And he's like, you could have done it with, with the four ninety nine added like a dollar fifty cents more or something, got the ham on it, and, you know, some stupid thing. But instead, you know, he charged, he said, it was an afterthought. So after we paid, he came over and told us, she's like, oh. So she's like, why do I feel so, you know, but the thing is, Chloe, it was a trigger for Chloe because Chloe thought, oh, I'm complaining about Rita, uh, Rita's complaining about me. No, I was saying, you know, the guy basically, it was a humorous thing. The guy basically turned around and said, hey, you could have done it. It's like I was saying to you when my husband was alive and Chloe understood and apologized to me. It's like going to Bur uh, not Burger King, but McDonald's and asking for four Big Macs and then they give them to you. Where you, I was told, you know, my husband said, watch this. We want eight double cheeseburgers, uh, extra onions, and uh, they don't charge for extra onions, uh, and uh, back sauce and both patties. Eat those, and it's a dollar twenty nine at the time compared to paying uh, three fifty to five bucks for a Big Mac. So when he, when I turned around and learned what he did, it was a better value to just add Mac sauce on it, you know, the special Mac sauce, and pay, you know, so the guy, it was an afterthought. So you know, but you guys get the idea. So I got my coffee. I got to get the dilating, but. You know, Chloe got, Chloe's apologetic to me because, you know, she was getting, like, really angry and, you know, somewhat, you know, I, I could say this without upsetting Chloe because she knows what I mean. Angry and psychotic type thing, but, you know, she didn't realize, you know, you know, that, you know, we can't do this on my, what she was saying on my channel. And so the video, you know, she's like, redo it. So, but yeah, she got triggered because of the sub sandwich thing and, you know, and, and the whole thing about it, and it's like, why well, get angry when, you know, we all make mistakes. I mean, if the guy turned around and said, hey, you want four ninety nine with flat and ham on it, there you go. That's five fifty. Instead, nine dollars and like fifty cents for the sandwich, Chloe's well, like, you know, and then this and this and that, and it was double the price of mine. Chloe's so like, I don't have enough. Well, use my card, seven bucks, big fucking deal. And she, she thanks me for it, but you know what? I mean, I didn't sit there and say, oh, well, I need to get another sandwich because you got one that equals two. No. So, you know, when it came to, you know, people sitting there going, well, you're going to be working hard. You need to eat. Well, you know, the thing is, is you know, uh, and one of the things Chloe apologized to me for was she didn't realize, you know, that sometimes I shared the budget with her. So, you know, once she calmed down, I came in from the walk. She's like, you need to do your video again. But I explained her listen. You know, I mean, you got people saying you're not paying the gas. I got to budget that. You got people saying that, you know, if I'm buying the food, I got to give you what you want. I got to budget that. I'm just going to forfeit eating because I got to make sure you eat. Well, she got angry and said, hey, you can get what you want. I'll get value stuff. But I could turn around and skip it all and we can eat granola bars, which is not really good for a hard day expelling so much energy for, you know. So, I mean, literally. I mean, if I pay uh, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars for meals, you know, we better make sure that we get our food. You know, the thing is, is I'm going to be selling so much energy that Chloe realized, you know, hey, you know, but the neighbors are like, fuck Chloe, Chloe, uh, you know, I'm catering to her. You know, like today, the neighbors took offense for not me taking up for lunch. I mean, look, my, my other friends like. Sister like, I'll, I'll bring food. I'll, Chloe, you know what I mean? I, I, I got a thing on it. So I got to go in at 9 in the morning, which is 9 hours and 19 minutes. Go in there just to fucking check and see if she's coming. If she's not coming, then I got to deal with Mr. I'm a douchebag who wants to take me to dinner. And it's like, I don't want to eat with a guy. I don't even know the guy. He could sip off on the bill. He could be trying to drug us up with drinks so he can try to get us in the sack by date rape drugs. 
I mean, I don't know the guy, and I'm not going to take my chances, all right? You know, you guys know this. I'm very protective of myself. You know, and having the neighbor go, Ooh, Uncle, you have no problem with church because she's going to say, Oh, we're busy. I told the guy I had a busy weekend plan with my sister coming, but my sister's plan was, I'll bring you 40 chicken nuggets and, you know, we can chat. Well, now it's, we got to find a place to sit down and chat, you know, to stay out and eat. Well, we can go to fucking, uh, A&W KFC and I'll get the freaking floats. I'll take the floats over the fucking food because all I want to do is chat with her. I'm moving soon. I want to see my sister. But you, and then, you know, you have these douchebag noise. It's like, uh, yeah, like, I really need to do this shit, you know? And so, you know, having her bring me this food's fine, but you bring me two, ba- uh, two burgers and, uh, you know, the just two burgers and a soda from Burger King, you know, asking me, well, I don't know, the room has the burgers, two of those, you know, that's fine with me, just give it here, I'll eat the fucker. You know, just make sure no tomatoes, you know, but, you know, that ain't gonna happen. Two, t- two 20 piece nuggets, that's fine too. You know, and I want to see her, but, you know, she's like, oh, well, he's around. I mean, when, I mean, I have family saying, oh, you're a caretaker, you know, you're this. You have to give in to Chloe's demands, you know, and it's like, you know, Chloe's mom's watching this. You need to shut up and realize, you know, I give Chloe and I give Chloe, you know, and I don't complain. You know, you might think I complain and abuse her because of the videos, but no, I'm expressing my feelings. And I tried to explain that to Chloe, you know, when I do a video, I'm expressing my feelings. My feelings is, can't people just leave us alone instead of us basically sitting here and then Chloe getting angry over, you know, a sub sandwich, like, and then basically doing crap that, you know, and then people will sit there and say, say she's off from that, she's schizophrenic, she's schizophrenic, she's schizophrenic. Well, doesn't anyone want to fucking sit there and say, whoa? I mean, I need... Calm down, or I give myself stroke. Bottom line is, everyone, I love every one of you, but I need people to leave me the fuck alone, alright? Now, if I go and get, go and buy my own food and tell Chloe to buy her own, that's fine. But I don't want anyone fucking leaving messages going, Oh, well, you know, Chloe shouldn't be buying towels. She should buy food. She shouldn't be relying on you. You need to take care of yourself because you're burning a lot of energy. Going to go to a move, you know. And my neighbor, her son, grandson's like, don't buy me food, I'll just take cash. Well, you know, that's the thing, I gotta give him cash. Floor's already offered him some cash to help him. So, we're trying to get our 900 bucks back for the cause, which is guaranteed we'll get everything done. So, we gotta, each of us has to bust our ass off. Meanwhile, you know, I'm trying to make sure we have all that money back so we can actually put it towards what we need. And yet, at the same time, I hear, oh, oh you know, I mean, it was like today I talked to Chloe and she was trying to tell me if she has an idea for boxes. These boxes are too big to be basically taking in a wheelchair. I mean, I've asked for help. No deal. So I have another idea to get us some money. No problem. I gotta go do some business in the morning on it. If I can get away with it, fine. Otherwise, I'll tell you all about it later. But bottom line is, I love every one of you. And, you know, I just want everyone to realize that I need to, you, you guys want me to put my foot down, then you guys need to stop riding my ass and basically tell me I'm a two ass weak woman that can't make decisions. My decision is this, I'm not going to eat anything. Chloe, I can tell Chloe you're buying your own food, I'm not buying anything, she'll not buy anything. Now if I tell her, you're buying value menu on your money, I'm buying my own food, that's fine. Now if I say, hey, we can't do it because... You know, we gotta make sure we have enough to get around. I mean, my partner manager told me the only one who's gonna fuck up our chances of moving completely is Chloe. Oh, well, you know, you gotta make sure you get the gas. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. Manager said this. Neighbor said it. Another neighbor said it. I just got to take a break. A break. You know, but you guys get it. I mean, I got plans in the work. I want to put a movie in. Me and Chloe's going to watch tonight. I will uh, check in with you tomorrow when I get up. You know, this day has already went fast-paced, but I keep wanting to be able to talk to you. But, you know, the thing is, is every day it gets closer to moving, and, you know, the main thing is, is I just need everyone to take chill pills. Chloe, I told her to take a chill pill. She's like, fuck you. Well, that's her disability. She doesn't want someone telling her to calm down, you know, and me, 
when I sit there and I say calm down, she's like, hey, man, you're not calm. I'm calm. I'm cool and cucumber. I was just trying to explain to her in nice terms, you know, and not to get angry, you know. Don't get angry over sub sandwich thingy. Just relax, you know. And and I love Chloe dearly. It's not her fault, you know. Now people are gonna point and say she's autistic. Oh, that's her autism. Well, that's fine. Now she they say, oh, she's schizophrenic. She's more bipolar. She's borderline. No one knows who her, what her true diagnosis is. So no, quit pointing the finger. And, you know, Chloe's going to realize, you know, I mean, Chloe came up with some ideas, Chloe came up with her feelings on certain issues we conversed about, and she made some good points. Now, I made some good valid points, too, so we just got to pull together and figure out what to do. So, in the meantime, you know, there you have it. You know, I'm going to put a movie in now. So please add and subscribe. You know, please post comments. Please leave feedback, suggestions. This is nice as all we ask. We ask you to leave us alone. I'll make the decisions that I think best for certain things, she'll do the rest, and uh, hit that like and subscribe button, hold some fun even for the family, thanks for watching Buttercup.